Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Hello everybody, I am back today with an absolutely massive unboxing slash haul. I have been letting my figures build up the last uh, couple weeks. Just lots of pre-orders coming in, um, actually a gift from a patron of mine, and another figure that I ordered that I half unboxed, but didn't actually fully unbox yet. Um, anyway, I've had a ton of figures coming in and I just haven't unboxed them all. <laughs> Uh, and I thought I would do a fun little haul video where I unbox the one, two, three, four, five, six figures with you all today. So this is going to be a mega unboxing. It's definitely not going to be a chill unboxing. I got to get this done quick because nobody wants to sit through me unboxing six figures piece by piece. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited for today's video. So without further ado, let's unbox some figures. Let's get to some good old fashioned quality Gwen Collects entertainment. Okay, we're gonna start with the figure that I have a half unboxed here. It's a very contentious figure. Um, I opened it up to take a look because I was really curious when it came in the mail, uh, but it is the Spiritail um, Miku's Special Day or 39 Special Day figure. Um, this has been very contentious because I think the figure turned out not as nice as the prototype. Now, I really don't think it's as bad as people were saying. Honestly, mine looks pretty decent. Uh, I found some of the faces have kind of looked jankier than others. I think the hair is a definite step down, but honestly, I looked into my options after receiving this. I ordered it direct from Spiritail using um, Japan Rabbit, who have been amazing at talking to Spiritail on my behalf throughout this whole thing. Um, but yeah, I ordered it direct from Spiritail and my options are to mail it back to Japan Rabbit who will mail it back to Spiritail um, and then I can either get a refund or the updated one or I can just keep it. So I don't really want to pay to mail it back to Japan so I'm just going to keep this one. I really don't think it's that bad and yeah. So anyway, I am going to be unboxing it all for you today. Um, and we'll see what we think of her. Maybe she won't be as bad as we expected. I've been having terrible luck recently with figures. I even bought the Makuma and Power figure who I'll be showing probably in my next haul, like big haul video. Um, and yeah, like it wasn't, it wasn't great. So, I don't know. Okay, I'm also gonna tip my camera down a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit more at the box level. I think that's better. Now you can see a little bit more of my fireplace. Um, but yeah, so here is the box with Miku in it. Okay, hopefully you guys can all see that. So it has some pictures of the illustration of what the figure was supposed to look like. And then it's just kind of the clear plastic spirit tail. They like to do this, their plastic boxes kind of similar to like um, Maithos and Alter. They like to do their plastic boxes as well. I like it. I think the design is really cute and it shows off the figure very nicely, especially if you're someone that doesn't open their figures which I know there are some collectors that don't. So I do like ones like this where like, even if you don't open it, you do get a nice little display. So let's open it up. I actually found my X-Acto knife, yay. Okay, so we have the instructions. I'm pretty sure they just put the orb in her hand and the, the staff in her other hand, not too complex. Okay, let me try and remove her. Oh my God, is she attached to the throne? Oh my God, she is. Okay. So she just comes out fully attached already to the throne. Uh, there's lots of plastic on it to kind of keep it safe. So we'll take all that off. Okay. So here she is. Um, I was super, super excited about this Miku. So it is a bit of a bummer that she didn't turn out like as good as the prototype. But honestly, now that I'm seeing her in real life, out of the box, it's really not that bad. Like, the pictures definitely look worse than it is. Hopefully, seeing it on video will help you guys kind of envision it a little bit more. But like, it's not awful. It's not, I mean, I paid 35,000 yen for this, so like, obviously it was expensive, so that's not really an excuse, but I don't think it's as bad as people were saying. Like, a lot of the parts of this figure, like the, the cape and the sculpt still look really, really great. The chair is super well detailed. Wow, it actually looks really, really good. Like, the cushion is painted so nicely. All of the little gold beads are painted perfectly. 
there's a really loud car outside. I apologize. The flowers look really, really good. I like how the base is like a, it's, I didn't realize this before, but it's actually like a card. You can't really tell, but it says like Miku on the top corner, like near the back, which is really cool. Miku's outfit looks really, really nice. Her tights are nice and glossy. The rest of her is pretty matte. The crown is a little sloppy, I would say. It's not perfect, but like the paint job is not bad either, actually. Honestly, she's really not that bad. Like I definitely think they could have done a, a slightly cleaner job, but I don't know, it's really not that bad. It's not worth mailing it back to get a new one, you know? I think she's she looks pretty good. Her face is cute. It's definitely not as cute as the prototype. I feel like they kind of elongated it a bit and then gave her a bigger forehead, but it's honestly, again, it's not that bad. I do think as a as a whole, she does look really, really cute. Let me put the orb in her hand. Okay, the orb looks a little cheaply done. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. The whole figure itself just feels like slightly cheap. If that's the best way to describe it, which you don't really want to say for a figure that cost as much as this one did. But you know what? Whatever. It's not worth sending back. For me anyway. If it's worth sending back for you, like I totally understand. Like I, I totally get it. But for me personally, I don't think it's worth the hassle of sending it back, to be quite honest. And then the staff. So there she is all together. Truly, I think it's not as bad as people are saying. Again, it's not like the best figure I've ever seen execution wise, but it's really not awful. I love the overall concept and design of this figure. Miku is a queen. She is the queen. And I'm so glad that I'm able to finally have her in queen form. As they say, the world is hers. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not mad. She looks actually pretty good to me. Um, Spiritail did okay on this one. I'm, I'll be more cautious ordering Spiritail in the future though. Definitely after this whole debacle. But if you picked her up and she's like already on a boat to you or a company's not willing to replace her for you, I honestly think you'll probably still like her. She's really not that bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I feel like it's been a bit of an overreaction to this figure. I've definitely had figures that have come out worse and the companies have done nothing uh, to help. So yeah. Alrighty, next up we have a figure from Tokyo Otaku Mode. It's an Aniplex figure and it's one I am beyond excited about. She might be my, actually no, there's one other figure in this haul that's I'm more anticipated. I, I anticipated more, but this one is definitely up there. And check out B. I guess it's kind of hard to tell, but it is the Chisato uh, Nishiki figure from Lycoris Recoil. This is the Aniplex one where she's in her Likariko kimono uniform. And I am so excited for this figure. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, she's massive. This is a one seven scale, but it looks more like a one sixth. She's huge. Huge. Can you guys see how big that is? I love the box. They kind of took inspiration from the, the restaurant design, I feel like, for this. And it looks so cute. I love it. Aniplex has really been impressing me with their like Marins and stuff recently. So I'm super excited to see this one. Um, and I actually had some drama recently with Chisato figures. So I don't know if you guys have heard, but I have had to eat my words about recommending Amazon JP to all of you for figures. Um, I used to love to order off Amazon Japan, but I've been cutting down less and less with their raising shipping prices. And now they're canceling people's pre-orders outright. They just don't have enough stock. And I was victim to that with the Good Smile Chisato figure of her in her like, uh, like wrist uniform. Super upsetting because I was excited for that figure. But honestly, there's so many good Chisato and Takina figures coming out, especially one by Alter in their Lycoris uh, outfits. So I decided to can like just not rebuy that Chisato. And then I actually also canceled the matching Takina. I may regret that later, but <clears throat> I did have these ones coming already. So I was kind of like, you know what? It's fine. It saved me like $400 and honestly, like, I don't need those expenses right now. So I'm, I'm kind of happy that I canceled the Chisato and the Takina from Good Smile, but it is, it is kind of sad because I was looking forward to those figures, but yeah. I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't recommend using Amazon JP anymore, especially for Good Smile figures because uh, your order might get canceled like mine did. Now I have had recent orders go through um, just fine. My pre-orders like got delivered. So I don't know what it is. 
but some of their orders just were not going through. But anyway, luckily Tom is not like that and I was able to get this cheese out done. So here she is. Oh, MG, she looks so good. Wow, she's huge. She is huge. They, oh my God, they did such a nice job on her. I love her. So I loved these uniforms. I was definitely more excited about these ones than the Good Smile ones, even though I do like their Lycoris uh, uniforms. I just prefer these ones. Um, and I just loved this artwork. So when they announced that they were doing these two figures, I was just beyond thrilled. Um, Chisato looks so cute. She's so well detailed. The shading is super, super nice. Her face is perfection. It looks just like her. Her hair has lots of volume and m so many individual strands um, sculpted. It looks so good. Her bow is like fluttering and it has shading on it as well. Really, really, really nice job. Um, for like a very simple figure. I also love the Licorico base. Can you guys see that? Look at how nice that looks. Obsessed. Uh, just nice and simple, but not just like a plain black base. I really, really like what they did there. I'm hoping Takina's is like blue and green maybe to match her uniform. That'd be really cool. So nice metal foot pegs to attach Chisato. I was wondering if they would do a foot support on this side, but I think those metal foot pegs should be enough. We'll see if she starts leaning over time. Um, I did see the prototypes for this one and Takina when I was in Japan, actually, uh, just at the Adiplex store. So it's really cool that I like got to see that prototype and I finally have the figure in my hands. Then we have the little Sunday on the tray that she holds in her hand, looking super, super cute. It's super detailed with all the little like pocky sticks in it, the chocolate sauce, everything is super detailed. There's even like a folded napkin underneath and a little spoon and maybe some extra sauce or tea. I'm not sure, but it looks super cute. So I just gotta figure out how this goes in her hand, probably like so. And I know if you order Takina, you do get the poop sundae, which I will definitely be switching this out for that one because I think that's so hilarious and adorable. But here she is, Miss Chisato. I cannot wait to get the Takina from this set. Chisato turned out absolutely perfect. I'm obsessed with her. Everything from her apron, to her hair, to her face, to the base, just looks so good. I love the how dynamic this figure is. Like they could have gone for a really boring, simple pose, but they went for just such a fun, dynamic, cute pose. And I am just so thrilled with this figure. The scale is massive. I would put her definitely at a one sixth scale versus a one seventh scale. Uh, but I'm never complaining about getting more figure for the price of <laughs> more figure per figure, if you will. <laughs> Um, I love when figures end up being bigger than you expect them to, because honestly, scales are not consistent in figure collecting anyway, so you might as well go big, you know? Like I'd rather them be bigger than too small, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, love her so much, and I am so excited to get Takina. Okay, next up, I have one that's upside down because my address is on the other side. And this one is from Ami Ami. It is a pre-order and it is a Persona figure. So I'm so excited. It's been a while since I unboxed a new Persona figure. So I'm very excited about this one. It is a re-release. Amakuni has been slaying the re-release game when it comes to um, Persona figures, which I'm very thankful for. If you could guess, it is the Takamaki On um, as Panther figure. Thank you for the Ami card. Oh, cute! It's Ami Ami's birthday! Or Amiko's birthday! Love that! That is adorable. Okay, let me reorganize myself. So here is the birthday card. Super, super cute. I love that. Okay, and here is the figure. Box, just nice and simple. I'm honestly impressed at how small this box is. I was expecting the shipping quote to be much higher, but it was like 50 bucks and I was like, sweet. It's been a while since I was pleasantly surprised by a shipping cost, so <laughs> I'll take that as a win. Okay, so popping her open. We have some instructions. Okay, on how to switch like her mask on. Oh, I have to put her tail in. And then her whip, okay. I think I can do it. Oh, and she does have a support. So first thing out of the box is a Miss On. She looks amazing. Um, I've loved this figure ever since I started playing Persona. I tried to pick it up on the aftermarket, but I, I don't know, took my time, took too long um, to pick her up. And then she was announced for a re-release. So I was like, well, sweet. I'm glad I didn't pick her up then. 
Um, so I pre-ordered the re-release pretty quickly after that. Um, uh, but it was a long wait. I pre-ordered her in like probably 2022, like end of 2022. And it is now March of 2024 and we finally have on in our hands. Like, it took a long time. Amakuni's quite slow, actually. They put their figures up for pre-order a long, long time before they're supposed to come out. I love this base for on. It just says Persona 5. It's very simple, but like really cool in like a geometric way. I think it really, I don't know, complements the figure. It's super nice. She does come with an extra hairpiece that doesn't have the mask on. I'll show it in the B-roll, but I will be displaying with her with her mask on, so I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Okay, so here is the whip. The shading on it looks so good. I think the back part of it comes off, yeah. And then it goes in her hand and then loops around. What? I need these instructions. So it goes in her hand like so. Man, On is probably one of my lesser favorite characters from Persona 5. I love all the characters, but On's probably like a little lower on my list, but I have always loved her Phantom Thief outfit. Pink and red is my favorite color combo. And I feel like it's not utilized enough. Like I love the pink gloves with the red suit and the burgundy boots. It just looks so fire. And I wish pink was a more col 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 bleh. And I wish pink was a more common color combo with red because I just think they look so good together. Okay, and then this just sticks kind of in her butt. It's kind of weird. Okay, so be careful with On's tail because I very nearly almost broke her tail there. That was very fortunate that I did not break it. But here she is, fully assembled, looking so cool, so amazing. Um, I love Persona 5, and obviously all of the Phantom Thief designs are just so, so freaking good. And obviously this is no exception. Um, this on figure is so nice. Amakuni always does such an amazing job with their figures, especially their Persona ones. They just, chef's kiss, they do a perfect job. So I'm so happy to finally have this on in my collection because I have been eyeing her since the minute I started playing that game. Actually, I was eyeing her before I started playing Persona. Like I already knew of this figure and wanted her before I even like knew what Persona was. So the next box is the biggest box I have today. And it is actually from a subscriber, a patron on my Patreon who has supported me for a really long time, sent me this and I am just so thankful. And it was just so sweet. Um, they sent me the sweetest message as well. So thank you so much to the person that sent me this I do know what it is because they asked me if I wanted these figures and I actually did want these figures So it was really 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 kind of them to offer to send them to me um, I wish I could send them like Money in return for all of this expensive shipping, but I uh, Hopefully will be able to send them a nice thank you. So I really really huge. Thanks to this person I just really enjoy communicating with all of you guys and it just means so much to me that some of you will take your hard-earned money and spend it on me and my content like truly thank you so much um it really means a lot so thank you so let's open these up it's actually two figures but it's a set i don't know if you can tell what it is can you tell oh it's like all in chinese it is a manito set and there was no note in the box but they did send me a really nice note so huge thanks to them uh, let's open it up. So, one box. It's honestly smaller than I was expecting. They're heavy though. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So much packaging to protect these two. And they are the Maithos Asuka and Rey Ask figures. I am so excited to see these two unboxed. Um, I know a lot of people ordered these two. I seriously, seriously considered ordering them, but I just felt like I had so many Oscars and Rays already. But I just like couldn't justify it, but I love my those figures. I love Ask as an illustrator. And I did really, really, really want these. Uh, obviously, box is very pretty. I didn't really talk too much about that. I was too excited to open them up. Uh, box is really pretty. Typical Maithos, just an all plastic box. So taking them out of the box, first we have Asuka, my best girl. I love her. She's wearing a super cute, like fluffy pink dress, and she looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. Maithos always does such a nice job with their like use of pearlescent paints. I find 
Her hair looks super, super pretty. I love the shading and the paint choice for her hair. It's gorgeous. I like how they didn't include her typical like Ava clips, but they still did the bows to kind of reminisce about the clips that are usually in her hair. Her eyes look super pretty, typical of the like ask illustration style. I think she looks so nice. Her jewelry is sculpted super nicely. As usual with my, my ethos, everything is painted very, very nicely. Um, they are pretty small, these two, like they're not massive scales, but they are quite well done. Asuka's shoes are beautiful. I know she's like sitting up in a chair, so I think she'll look super nice. The blushing on the body looks super, super nice. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the clear plastic in the dresses, but I think it's actually really, really pretty and it gives a very like ethereal silky vibe. Um, as for Ray, who's actually my favorite of the two in this set, um, her dress looks beautiful. I love the heels that they put her in, just gorgeous. Um, her, even her nails are painted. Are Asuka's nails painted? Oh, they are. They're painted like a nice light little ballet pink. That's so pretty. Ray's hair is painted beautifully and shaded so nicely. And then it has like a purple pearlescent metallic sheen to it that just looks stunning. I do prefer Ray's face to Asuka's. I think Ray's just looks so nice. And then Ray's dress is this like clear plastic kind of cascading dress and it just looks beautiful. They did such a nice job with the shading on like their arms and legs and body and they're like blush. Oh my God, looks gorgeous. Okay, let me check out the backdrops now. So first up we have the Ayanami Ray base. This is what it looks like. It's a clear plastic, but then it has like a rose gold like border. You cannot see that while I'm holding it up. I'll just show it in the B-roll. But it's like a clear plastic with like a rose gold border and then Ayanami Ray written in like handwriting on it, which is super pretty. And then Asuka's is Shikinama As Shikinami Asuka Langley. And it's a little bit more of like a unique shape. So this is the plant that goes on Asuka's. It's like this really pretty like red plant with a bow on it. I don't know. It's super pretty. And then Asuka, oh, look at that. I can't even speak today. My goodness, you guys. Asuka has this like really cool chair as well. I don't know. This is like a very unique figure set. I was not expecting this from like Ava, you know, but I think they just look so nice. So Asuka has a spot for the chair, I think. I don't see it. Am I crazy? Maybe it just sits. It just looks like these are like pegs, but I guess they're not. Huh. Okay, everything just balances. Actually, my ethos loves that. They love to make everything just like barely balance to stay upright. Um, I don't have room to put this all together here right now, but I will obviously have tons of B-roll to tell you guys what I think of this. Um, it's kind of hard to get the vision right now without it all together. So I think I'll voice over the B-roll section here to give you guys my final thoughts on these two because I think that'll be more authentic. So here are my final thoughts on Ray and Asuka. I think they are stunning. My ethos kills it once again. I do think they're a little bit undersized for the price, but honestly, they are beautiful. They're so just like ethereal and uh, just beautiful. I love them. I feel like it's very different for an Ava figure. So I don't, I, I'm just obsessed. They're so cute. They look so good together. I love the way their bases slot together. Their bases may be like one of my favorite parts of this figure. It's super different and super pretty. And I feel like figure manufacturers need to, I don't know, they need to take a note out of my ethos book because these two just look so beautiful. I love their plants. I love the pearlescent hair. I love their outfits, their poses. Everything about them I think is just gorgeous so thank you so much to the wonderful person that sent me them <gasps> my god i think we're almost done <laughs> we are almost there we have one figure left oh my god this is a lot there's just boxes and like blister packs and everything everywhere right now but i have one nindroid to show you guys for the last part of this video So it is a figure that I kind of don't really need anymore. Um, I absolutely loved this. I absolutely loved this design, the Sakura Miku. 
based on an illustration by, I think it's Rella. Um, this is the box for her. So this is the doll. Um, I really, really love the design. So I ordered the doll and now just recently, they really did us dirty. They like announced that they were shipping this, charged everyone and then announced the scale figure of this. And now I want the scale figure. So I pre-ordered the scale figure, but now I have this doll and like, she is really, really cute. So like, I'm not mad, but like also like, I don't really need the doll if I'm gonna get the scale. I don't typically like to have an Android and a scale of the same like character, you know? So, oh well, figure collector problems, am I right? It's like the whole like Tiger Taiga debacle where like they released the tights version of Taiga and then immediately released the, the Tiger version. It's just, that, this is just like that. Okay, oh my God, okay, I forgot about this. I love how they send little Nendoroid dolls. They're so cute. They like put them in like a little wrap. They're like naked because you have to put the clothes on them. So they come wrapped up in this like little bag. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna hide so it focuses on it. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. It's gonna pop her out. She's gonna take forever to get dressed, so I'm probably gonna dress her and then film B-roll and then maybe do voiceover of B-roll again because I do not feel like dressing her right now after filming this for like 40 minutes. Um, I, I'm, I'm figured out. <laughs> I'm done with putting them together. <laughs> but first impressions are she looks so sweet. Oh my God. If you had like other Sakura Miku faces, you could do like little other expressions on her too which would be so cute. And like things like her little hat. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. So I'll put her together and during the B-roll, I will give you my voiceover thoughts on this literally so adorable Nendoroid doll. Oh my God, I never even noticed her little Sakura earring. That is so cute. Just on the one side. Adorable. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with her. She's so cute. Maybe I don't regret her. So Miku wasn't too hard to get dressed actually, and she is so cute. I love her little blouse with the like cherry blossom petals in the bow tie and the hat and the purse and the skirt with the, like cherry blossom over like half the pleats. Oh my God, she is so cute. They nailed this Nendoroid doll. I'm honestly actually so happy I got her because she is so cute and I cannot wait to display her next to the scale. So yeah, so obsessed with her. She is adorable. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, I had to take off my sweater. All of these unboxings were making me break a sweat. <laughs> but yeah, we are done. I have unboxed all of the figures here. We had one, two, three, four, five, six figures to unbox with you all today. Uh, seven of you included my holo that also came, the Katakawa re-release, um, but she's at my parents' house because I haven't changed my address and everything yet. So she's at my parents' house, so I wasn't able to actually get her in time to film this, but I was just way too excited to film this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a massive haul slash unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing these figures. I feel like with moving and like just not filming as often recently, my like chill unboxings in my hauls have become like one thing <laughs> where I just like unbox a ton of figures at once. So I'm just gonna title this as a haul video. It basically is a haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming this. It's super nice to get back to the roots of Gwen Collects and just enjoy figure collecting, you know? So yeah, super cute figures today. I hope you guys all like them. Let me know what you think of the 39 special day Miku. I honestly think she's not, she's not that bad. I don't know, like I'm, I'm not mad. She's, she's fine. Um, and obviously all the other ones I'm obsessed with too, especially Chisato. She turned out so much better than I could have even imagined. So I'm so excited about her. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or even subscribing. And if you'd like to further support Gwen Collects, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gwen Collects. I'd like to give a huge thanks to all of my Chica Tier patrons, Melindy Lou, Remember June, Riomi, Leon Blade, Chance, Noble, and Castle. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.